Hi guys, Don Rice here, and we're looking at my P47, and as always, I am here to document the good, the bad, and the ugly. I figured today we'll start with the good. This is the silver paint shot on top of um, the vinyl rivets and and you can see the um, the panel lines here and last night I shot uh, zinc chromate where the tip lights go and <clears throat> um, and when I pulled the tape off we had some bad so hold on All right, so I had used some 3M fine line tape, and you can see where it pulled up um, some of the silver paint. Now this only happened on the bottom side; did not happen on the top. Something else that got painted in the same process was I, I painted zinc chromate in the wheel wells, and you can see. Again, the fine line tape all the way around the perimeter it pulled up the silver paint. Now here what you see is intentional um, damage where I'm trying to show mm, weathering and stuff. I was not trying to show weathering out here. So, um, I don't know if this will show up. This wingtip is much worse over here. Sorry for the shakiness. We'll get this. Maybe. <laughs> Cinematography is not what I majored in. Okay, so here you can see a lot of damage. A lot of the a lot of silver got pulled up all around here by the by the tape. Actually, this was pulled up by green tape, uh, green masking tape, but the rest of this is all from the fine line tape. So, <clears throat> all right, so that's all bad, bad news. So I came home today at lunchtime which is about six hours ago and I laid some various tape down on the top side. The reason I did that is because the top side showed no damage over there on the wingtips uh, where the tip lights were painted where the the fine line tape was down just the, exactly the same as it was on the bottom and there's no silver paint that got pulled up so I'm doing a worst case test here on the wing, the same kind of tape I was using, green stuff, and this is the blue 3M fine line tape. Now all this tape is laid down in an area that um, is inside the fuselage, but I still um, laid it over some rivets, and and to make things worse, I went ahead and painted. Um, this is. Uh, silver nitrate dope which is the same stuff that's on here um, over the top of some blue over the green this is uh, yellow acrylic model masters uh, same thing same stuff I used last night this is two test panels that were also shot over the weekend with the same silver nitrate same kind of tape and actually I've got some one inch um, of standard tan masking tape uh, here and the intention here is to find out if some of the thinners and stuff that's in this paint might be leaching through the the tape this was an idea um, sent to me by uh, Z Painter and um, 
and it's a good idea. So if that's leaching through and attacking or having some kind of negative effect on the on the undercoating, well, now's the time to find out. So here we go. We're going to pull the tapes off and see what happens. That is clean. No silver there. All right, so now we'll pull up some of the regular masking tape. And we had some leakage down here, but that was because I, I used a brush and just messily brushed it over. So this was actually, actually went under the tape. And I think the same thing here. This is not actually pulled up off of the sample. This is, uh, this is from me brushing it on and it leaking under the bottom. But that looks clean. And then finally the fine line tape. Pull that off. It pulled... You can see... I don't know if you can see it. It pulled up the silver came up off the top of one of the rivets. If that's the worst that happens, I can live with that. Now this was shot, this was a very heavy coat of nitrate dope. And uh, my understanding after spending hours on the forums today is that if it's sprayed on heavier, it will bind better to the primers. Uh, this was actually a little bit lighter. So we'll see if um, it's any worse over here. That is clean. Try the green stuff. And again, there's leakage of the paint from the, me brushing it on, but the tape is clean. Here comes the fine line tape. All right, and that too is clean. This is good. This is good news. This is very good news. All right, and finally, let's see what happens here. This is the wing. Please stay together. That is just as clean as a baby's bottom right there. No, I wouldn't, shouldn't say that. Um, let's see. What's clean? It's just as clean as an operating room uh, before the procedure. Blue line tape. That looks good. All right. We'll rip it off. It's like pulling off a bandage. Here we go. Yeah, see, you pull it hard and damage can occur. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's just a couple, little bit, little flicks of silver that came off on top of some of the rivets. If that's the worst that happens, I'll be okay with this. But if we pull it nice and slow and gentle, No silver came off. All right. Two final pieces. We'll pull them nice and easy. And that looks clean. And well, that's stuck pretty good. That is sticky. But nothing came off. That is clean. All right. This is good news, folks. This is very good news. Very, very good news. The alternative was the way it was looking last night with the silver coming up when I pulled tape. It meant all of this was going to go away. I'd have to remove everything you see before you now. 
and redo it. And there's only about four weeks of work that went into getting to this point. So, <clears throat> all right, we will reset our attitude and consider the wing ready for color. <laughs> This is happy dance. Woohoo! Later.